Hey people, Ace's Army here, back with the next part of my Dark Souls 2 replay on PS5. So, uh, we've pretty much finished the main game now. I think we've done literally everything apart um, from the Dark Lurker, I think it's called, um, where you have to speak to the guy three times and go um, basically into like a portal into like this dark world and when you've done all three of them then you can fight uh, the boss um, so we're going to do the DLC though because um, basically we're going to finish on Dark Lurker, Nishandra and Aldia um, and I was trying to think what order you do, do you do this in and I think the poison one was the first one that they released um, so we'll crack on with that so um, we're literally uh, at the bonfire just after you fight um, the rotten and obviously they made this massive cave as an entrance uh, to the DLC. So yeah, I think they released the poison one, then the fire one, and then the ice one, if I remember right. Because it, like, there's the ivory crown, the sunken crown, and the something else crown? <laughs> oh, I can't remember now. Um, I also just, like I said, I wanted to change something with the build. Um, so I just decided that we would whack on the great sword for a bit. I have also got another two weapons I started leveling up. Um, so I think I just need petrified dragon bones though, so. Alright, so this is Shulva. And we should get. There's the dragon there. But yeah, and each. Um, the way it works with each of the DLCs, they've each got three bosses. So they've each got um, two compulsory bosses to actually complete it, um, and then an optional boss too. So this one has got um, the dragon is the main boss, and then you have um, basically like a bit of a <laughs> the Chandra rip off just before him. Um, Nice. Uh, I, I, I got my dexterity up to 12 as well, so I could actually equip the bow. Just because we're going to need it for this. Yep, don't poison me. Pretty sure I could, I could get away with using a bow without the stat requirements, but it's just like, why not? One thing I do remember about this this DLC is the enemies don't stun, if I'm remembering it right. Ow. No! God damn it. That was a jump. Not a roll. Oh! I thought you got knocked off. Life gems, I should take those. Should you use one now? Uh, yeah, this place is a bit mazy as well from what I remember. Isn't the the DLCs as well as when they started adding the, um, the clutch rings, I think it is? Okay, that's one hand. Now, obviously, you want to you want to jump sooner rather than later here. 
We were just missing it. Because you don't want to roll all the way off the edge. Ugh. My Dark Quartz Ring 3. Longbow plus seven. See, could have saved myself the trouble. Yeah, I could have saved myself the trouble of actually leveling a bow up. But I mean, I had a uh, a lightning bow just from finding it during the game, and, uh, and obviously we've got some faith required uh, stats. So I thought I mean, you might as well stick it on. The worst thing about these things is just the sound that they make. They uh, degrade your equipment as well. Literally, just enemies added for annoyance more than anything else. Poison bite ring. That is the little lizards, which are very annoying to deal with. Uh, leave me alone. Um, I'm just trying to think now what else is around that we need to deal with. So, isn't there like a side platform bit that you open up as well? You have to try and remember now. I know there is a few decent things in this DLC. Uh, okay, yeah, we knock this. That raises one platform. Then we got PR. this <gasps> no <laughs> why I mean the whole point of using the bloody great sword is so you got a lot of range I have no idea why I decided to stand so close to the edge and hit that when I had no need to. What is that item and how do you get to that? Well at least we've got this shortcut now. Uh, 
got this open as well. Whoa! No healing. Why? One of these has got like an item on the edge, I think. No, hitting me. Stop. Please. Oh, I missed an item. That's annoying. I have to go and get that now. Uh, I knew there was something there. Oh, no! Okay, somehow <laughs> that worked out for me. Not the most worth it item, but hey ho. Okay, this bit is annoying. If I'm remembering it right. Let's go and grab this over here a second before we move any platforms. That is the item that I could see earlier. Sanctum Mace. Ah! Thanking me. Okay, well maybe, uh... <laughs> most weapons don't... stun these guys. Okay, that's good to know. R2 can kill them in one. Uh, yeah, maybe most weapons don't stun these guys, but obviously... If you're rocking a great sword, then uh, it's a bit different. Right, we're missing one. Another one of these guys who just pops up randomly. There we go. Okay, didn't one hit you? I think you can save any heals now because uh, we're about to get a bonfire, or at least I hope we are. Ah, I thought I had wall protection. Do I love if they, they could add to these games just like a little um like a little finisher if they're on the floor as well? That would be nice. Nice little stab. Because if you if you've invested in a uh weapon so it's beefy enough to do that then you know ah 
How am I not getting that? Okay, before we do that... It was some sort of item that you got there. It wasn't on the top, was it? Because I couldn't see any items on the top. Okay. I thought that was one of those ones you, that you rolled onto. Okay, I think the only way to get this one is to fall off. I think you roll, and then there's like a weird tree thing I want to say in there. Uh, oh no, you don't need to roll. What am I on about? I'm tripping. It's just to do something with this guy, I think. Maybe it's later. Not heat on my poison a minute. Yeah, the only way to kill these guys is uh, with a bow. As long as he moves out of the way of the ladder, to be honest, I'm, f I'm more than happy with that. So, yeah, what's the deal with that, that pillar there? I always thought that there was something on top. Maybe it's NG+. Plus. There is an easier way to get over to this section. Uh, you only go this way and raise all the pillars just purely for this bonfire. literally just come straight in here and then just, just skip that bonfire if you really want. Yeah, you can't make that jump. I think you have to lower it and then jump off to it. Um, I don't think it's anything majorly worth it though, to be honest. That's that. That there is a bit of a secret item to get to. But we can't get there right now. Here comes the dragon. One time only free pass across this bridge. When they um, re released it, they changed the trophies as well. So, the trophies for all spells, uh, hexes, miracles, pyromancies now include the DLC ones.
Okay, this is the way to the grave robbers, which we can't open until we get a key. Alright, we need to open this here. So we can get through this room. One more turn. Okay, this is kind of a cool mechanic, I would say, that they added to the game. Uh, basically, didn't you know the well? The way to make these guys weak, be able to hurt them, is these statues. Ugh. It's lucky they didn't add poison or bleed to those guys because <laughs> they would totally get you straight away. Titan slab. Do to remember if there's anything worthwhile in any of these? Like I know a lot of the healing items and stuff that they added to the DLCs. Um, quite overpowered. Great arrows. Okay. Another interesting thing they added is where they just give off like a poison residue. Um, so basically, even if you've got to backstab them, it's a, it's a cost. Oh, there we go. That's uh, enough to level up that other weapon that I was on about. Obviously, it'd be poison being here. How did I miss? No way, do not stand on that. Not gonna need that spell. No! I thought you were using a step on there then and turn it. There's nothing else in here, is there, apart from that one item? No. I can't believe that jump and attack missed. Ruined my epic moment. Uh, right, this is the shortcut we need to unlock. Uh, we don't want to fall down here yet. Let's hit that. And this. Is there another one? It's just that one we gotta hit, isn't there? There's no other items down here. Uh, this is how we get the puzzling sword. The puzzling? <laughs> Puzzle sword? 
sort of great confusion. Right. Get trapped, fool. Ah, oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna fall for my wicked plan. Take that instead. Yeah, a lot of people, um, they'll find the one, like I said, like an obvious hole in the wall, but because the, the one further down the passage is in the dark, they'll, mi they'll miss uh, the other one. And they'll come in here and they'll be like, ah, oh, <laughs> this dead end. It is the puzzling sword. It was just me that was puzzled. Uh, S rank in dex. Nice. Very light. Quite a fun sword to use. So it looks very normal. Then you throw out an R2. It turns into a whip. It's got a very nice move set, to be honest. Very fun weapon to play around with. Right, now we need to fall down the hole. Oh god damn it. There's another uh, hole for us to fall down in a minute. Do that in a sec. Let's see, can we can we get a hit off on That's the one. I can't see the ceiling one from here for the spikes. One more... Beesh. Ah! So many of you! How is there still another one? Uh, there's a very good... No, am I thinking of the wrong place? Did we just pick up the Flynn's ring? We did and pick up the Flynn's ring. For some reason I thought that... I think that's... Uh, oh, maybe it's in a chest actually. Yeah, the Flynn's Ring is in this DLC, and if you're going to do like a light dexterity build, then it's a must-have. Because basically, the lower your equip load, the better. Um, this might be it, actually. Yay, Flynn's Ring. So yeah, if you're doing like a light dex build, for example, then definitely want that out on the go. So this place you actually want to just run through as much as possible. So that's the one that we opened there. Ugh. No! Hate that spell. Spike's gone. 
Uh, this one's a bit more annoying to deal with. You basically have to like change locations. Uh, I think you have to be damn low to hit it the next time. Right, there's another um, switch just underneath where I'm standing, but we can't get that one yet. Uh, the main thing here is we've got that shortcut. We want to ignore that guy. Make sure we're healed for this. And this is where we can stop all of them being invincible. Do you actually have to attack them? Or can you can you roll into them? You can roll into them. Okay, well that's safer to do. And easier. I think you also get the key here. Um, for uh, the Great Robbers. Is that all of them? No, still one left. If you're careful here, you can... Um, or lucky, rather, I should say. You can get them to run into these holes. Right, I still haven't got... Right, one definitely died. There it is. There's the Sanctum Key. with you all at the same time. Yeah. Well, let me just whittle you down a little bit more. Still need to unlock that as well. Ow! The interesting thing about that bow as well is... Um, I can kill this guy and then I can tell you. Uh, yeah, I think it's like... It's got a magic attack as well. So it's like rapid fire like the Avalon, but it's also got a magic ability. Which is pretty cool. Bite ring. Torch. Yeah. You die. No. Didn't mean to do that. Too far. It's totally out of your range. Fight night. Right, one more time. Uh, we need to be back up on the platform for that one. Right, that's the key, other key that we needed. When we open that as well, we've now got the bonfire. Let's just finish this off before we go to any bonfires. Denial! Yes, tears of denial. 
So, again, very, probably one of the handiest things in the whole of the DLC, that. It's basically, it's like a second chance from Demon Souls. Where, if you die, it'll give you another chance uh, with like one HP. Oh, there's, there's the crossbow. Uh, right, what do we do? Okay, I think... I know there's another one. Uh, another bonfire not far. I think we'll make a play for that instead of um, risk reviving those guys. It's not a door. So this is going to say then. Definitely being trolled there. Oh, actually seeing that. I was trying to remember where exactly in the DLC this bit was. Basically, this is a spot where you can farm um, petrified. Petrified dragon bones. But the cost is high. Because they are very annoying enemies to deal with. Wow! Okay. I don't want my ring to break. Throwing out forbidden suns and everything. guy's really overpowered and you summon him to help you with that one boss, but... No! My ring! Ah! God, I can't get a bloody break against this guy. No! Double heal, double chug. God live. Oh, he's cast warmth now as well. Right, well I'm stealing your warmth. Ah, thank you. Ugh, one of the worst invaders in the game. Jesus Christ. Okay. Go back and get my ring bloody fixed now. Okay. Yeah, these guys are the worst. Might not be as bad because we're not on New Game Plus actually. Dragons. Oh, they drop Dragon Scales as well. Okay, very, uh, very useful. Because obviously that you could use these guy guys to farm up um, the Covenant. Right, well the bonfire is just over there, but it's going to be annoying to get. Oh. Okay. There's one item there, and then there's one item down there. The only thing now is we're going to respawn them.
definitely do not want to be in a position where you have to take on more than one of these guys. I'm being chased. Please tell me I'm not being chased. Oh, we've got one on our tail. That's fine. Okay, he's not even following up here. Right, so this is what we needed the second key for. Dragonstone. <laughs> like, where, where possibly was I carrying that, <laughs> that massive chunk of rock? Okay, over here should be the Drake Blood's Great Sword. Nice. It's a pretty decent sword because it's got a good split. Um, so yeah, you could you could have decks, but then you get the also you can have the addition of the um, the magic and the lightning damage. It's pretty cool. Uh one do we have to There's one of these elevators where it takes you to one of those items that we saw earlier. Okay, right, I know where we are now. This, um, this one should take us to the start of the game, I want to say. Let me just make sure I'm not getting confused. There you go. Yeah, this is this is the very uh, beginning of the game. Right, let's quickly go and um, fix my ring. First bit of broken equipment we've got. What's this? So this is uh, petrified dragon bones as well. We haven't got the deck scaling though. I haven't got any chunks at all. The scales in dark. Yeah, so it has a dark magic spell. We've got all the requirements for it though. Could be decent. I do want to see what the, the Drake Blood set is like as well. Because I always remember it looks very nice. Uh, no. First one we need. Right. We're nearly ready to wrap this up. I think I just want to get myself in a position where we can basically do all three of the bosses in one go next time. Stick that on. It's basically like the uh, the Ring of Favor and Protection 2.0. But obviously that ring, it only breaks if you take it off. This one bloody breaks any all the time. Okay, I think we're gonna have another invader to deal with in a minute. And he's another annoying one, because uh, he's like guards the bridge. Oh, I'm not I think that's the wrong part, aren't I? I'm thinking of uh, 
the one that's on the way um, to the optional boss. Okay, so we just need to find um, the the last bonfire here. Uh, uh. So that's the Drake set being uh, being modelled kindly by our friend here, Pedro. One of these has got loads of, um, loads of, I think it's this one. No! No, I didn't want you to do that. Oh, I'm stuck in here now. Such a troll. Oh, there's that dark magic attack. Why don't you jump down and fight me? Yeah, look, see this one has got uh, the lizards at the top. Basically, you can stand in there and then go up to kill the lizards. Ah! No, they all ran! Okay, they don't normally do that. Okay, I'll take the chunks. Okay. Nothing in here either, so it's literally just the lizards. God damn it, what a troll. It's not even like it's an easy way out of there either. Uh, so, I'm looking for one of these drop offs. Should have a bomb, like a secret wall with another bonfire. <laughs> Scared me slightly then. Uh, is it this one? I think we would know if it was this one. Yeah, it's definitely not this one. Hexing urns. Ah! I think it's the next layer down. Uh, so we should just be able to jump down there from here. I think, and I hope, and I pray. No! Oh, there it is, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll wrap up here, guys, because all we need to do now is basically we just need to jump down to the bottom. There'll be two bosses back to back. Then we'll go and do the Grave Robbers and finish up the DLC. So three big bosses in uh, in one one go. Um, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next one. So as I said, the next one then will be the Fire one, which is, is basically um, basically like a sunken sunken city so i uh, hope you enjoyed this one if you did uh, like the video subscribe for more and i'll catch you in the next one